Okay, hello and welcome to week four of season six. Uh, this is end all be all here. And if you watched my last video, you know that uh, I've just qualified for uh, tickets on uh, Ray and uh, I'm in the process of farming them. And I've got about uh, 90 shards so far uh, with about three days of farming, um, but, um, but looking forward to getting there soon. Before I get into my actual GAC match, I wanted to take a, a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about uh, about uh, the ticket farming method and what's uh, what's going to be the most uh, efficient way to farm tickets. So this chart was shared to me by a guildmate of mine and I found it pretty useful. Um, there are two tables over here. The one at the top is uh, it tells you the cost and time taken to refresh to uh, unlock and get the ultimate for Ray refreshing the six uh, energy node and the table below is for the 10 energy node. So that's the difference between those, those two tables. Um, we have uh, time taken and the total cost to unlock and then all this, the, the uh, table towards the end, the column towards the end is for, uh, for the ultimate itself. So looking at this, um, I know that I've got about two weeks before the next GAC uh, season starts. So I've got time. So I could have, uh, and, I, and I'm willing to do up, up to 100 crystal refreshes, which means three for 50, three for 100, total six refreshes, which means that if I went for the six energy node, I could have unlocked in six six point nine days, and if I go for the ten energy node, I could have unlocked in eleven point five days. So it definitely takes a little longer to unlock with the with the the ten energy crystals. But given that I have two weeks before the next season starts, um, and the, the ten energy crystal is where you can farm, uh, um, where you can farm uh, things like uh, Kairos, or uh, in my case, I need to to level up a couple of ships. So I decided to go with the uh, 10 energy node, uh, at least to get to the unlock stage. Once I get to the unlock, um, I'll probably uh, continue with the 10 energy node, but I probably, I'm, I'm in no hurry to get the ultimate unlocked. So I'll probably just uh, drop down to 50 crystal refreshes instead of the 100 crystal refreshes. But that's gonna be my plan. Um, so this is a useful chart I found, uh, you know, um, it'll, you can, you can decide how f looking at the calendar and when you want to ultimately unlock, you can decide exactly what approach you want to take out there. All right, so that's uh, that's uh, this table. I'll leave a link to this in the description below so you can uh, you can refer to it. Uh, let's go back to our GAC battle. All right, so this week is going to be interesting. We uh, since we pumped our GP up, we. Uh, got uh, faced with, uh, not everyone in my group has Galactic Legends, a couple of them do. Uh, my current opponent has a uh, Galactic Legend Ray, um, just recently got the ultimate, but at the time of lock, uh, they didn't have the ultimate. Um, and then there's another person with the ultimate Galactic Legend Ray as well. So these two characters, uh, um, I, I'm facing the first one today, and if, um, if I win, I might get to face the other one a little later in the week, but uh, that remains to be seen if I win or not. So my current opponent, um, I can't pronounce the name, but uh, they're, they're in an Asian guild and they've gone ahead and cleared me with 1909 banners, which is pretty efficient. They, their, their strategy is to keep Galactic Legend Ray on defense with Malik and then use everything else on offense to try to uh, be as efficient as possible. And they scored 1909. They one-shot all my teams with the exception of the Grievous, which uh, held for one battle. Um, so I got a little bit of a room there, but it's still a very efficient score, especially going against a galactic legend. Um, it's going to be really tough for me to, to, to beat that. But it's a, this week is a low pressure week anyway, since, um, even if I lose all three matches, I'll still get into Kyber. So it's not much of, um, an issue. I'm going to take this, this week just to go and, um, practice as much as I can against uh, galactic legends. Uh, before I go into the offense, let's uh, quickly review my defenses. Um, obviously, because I'm facing Galactic Legend Ray, I wanted to keep uh, my best teams for offense, um, which is why there's no gas, no DR on defense. And I went with uh, a relatively light defense for um, the the kind of defense that I usually set. I kept my General Grievous, Knight Sisters, and Akira squad all uh, pretty easy to take out. Uh, crew, and um, I kept Malik over here with, um, um, with Newt, just to pull a good counter. And then... Um, down below, I kept uh, Basti and then Treya under Maul. So these are two uh, slightly tougher teams, nothing which can be cheesed, but I just wanted to prevent uh, my opponent getting 60 over here. 
and then at the top I kept my malevolence which was one shot as well so nothing uh, nothing that great in terms of defense which is why my opponent got 1909 so I need to be able to one shot pretty much all of his teams because I'm going to lose a lot of banners on on both the galactic legend ray as well as a grievous what team out here which is typically my my bane so um and i don't know if i'll be able to clear this or not i have tried out with a few galactic legend rays in arena um but uh, let's uh, let's see if you're able to to defeat this in um, in one shot uh, even if it takes two or three battles as long as we are efficient in the other battles we may get close to the 1909 score but uh, but let's see let's see if that happens all right so um so this particular version of ray it doesn't have the ultimate and there's holdo and malak in there so the presence of malak means that i won't be able to use the the most popular counter to ray which is uh, darth revan dark basti uh, watt and uh, thron and uh, and uh, geonosian brood alpha with that what happens is you get watt to put it put the uh, the tech on uh, on Darth Revan, so he goes next after Ray, and then he fears the whole team, and then uh, you basically fracture Ray and then control the whole team with shocks and fear and get through it. Now that counter will not work with Malak in there because uh, uh, giving a ta taunting tech to uh, giving the the uh, weapons tech to Darth Revan is not going to give him turn meter because uh, Malak's unique prevents uh, Sith and uh, enemies from gaining turn meter, so. In, for Malak cases, I think I would uh, prefer the other counter, which is uh, um, Jedi Knight Anakin, a uh, Jedi uh, uh, Knight Revan with the uh, gas in there. And gas counter under Jedi Knight Revan is another very popular counter against uh, against uh, uh, Rays, uh, primarily because Ray, as you can see over here, with the uh, with her uh, health is usually between 180 to 240k, depend depending on how you mod her. And because of her leadership and special and all that, she gains a ton of health. So what Jedi Knight Revan and, uh, Anakin and uh, General Skywalker do is they reduce, um, they reduce uh, her max health, which is extremely important in making her squishy and getting, uh, getting rid of her fast. So, and there are two ways to reduce max health. Gats, obviously, whenever he crits, he's able to reduce max health if the enemy does not have any protection. And if the enemy has bonus protection, then Jedi Knight Revan, with his lead, is able to reduce max health with uh, all the Jedi doing basics on uh, on Ray. Um, and the first thing that Ray does when she uh, uh, when she enters on board is gives herself bon and the and her allies bonus protection. So there are two ways to reduce uh, her max health and make her squishy. And we're going to try doing that. Uh, I'm going to take in Shakti and Hermit Yoda as well. Um, those guys, Shakti is and Hermit Yoda, both have another cleanse. And they can in increase uh, gases damage um, because Shakti can apply offense up. Hermitura can apply master's training. Hermitura also has foresight, which helps to uh, to keep the team safe to a certain extent. And then I'm going to take in uh, Thrawn to uh, to basically fracture Ray and control uh, at the beginning. So that's going to be my team. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, and see if that works. Um, so what's the team? Yeah, so I'm going to take in Jedi Knight Revan, General Skywalker, Hermit Yoda, and uh, let's see. Then I'm going to take in Shakti and Empire. I'm going to take in Thrawn. A lot of people like to go with Watt instead of Thrawn. Watt can give the weapons tech to Skywalker and uh, have him ignore um, defense uh, and give him a little extra turn meter. Um, that works as well. Um, I'm just going to try this team. Ultimately, I do want to run with a full Jedi squad. Um, and uh, in that case, uh, you know, either uh, uh, Grandmaster Yoda can, can replace Thrawn or, uh, or, or some other Jedi. But at this stage, at least, I think this one should be able to get the job done. So let's, uh, uh, let's enter this battle and see if we're able to get stuff done. So very first thing is Finn and Poe are going to go and stun my and apply some debuffs to my my Anakin. So unfortunately, Savior got triggered, which was uh, which was bad. I'm going to dis call Shakti to assist and dispel. Um, Malik has uh, 
taunted, which is not good. I'm going to hide Anakin and keep him safe for a little bit. And then let's go after Ray and try to fracture her and try to get her down as soon as possible. I'm going to give this to Anakin, um, General Skywalker. Ooh, this guy is almost gone. Not good, not good. So these guys are inspired, so they're going to counter attack. Um, so I'm not going to do the AOE. And this guy is gone. Okay, so fracture is gone. So this is probably going to be a loss. Uh, and my my Anakin is feared. So let's continue trying to reduce the uh, turn meter. His heal should have come earlier. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's pass the turn meter back. So he's got the strategic advantage. So he's, he's nobody's going to counter. Let's pass the turn meter back to uh, General Skywalker. And I want to land a, a big hit over here. Ooh, Skywalker's gone, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we can't at least get, uh, get Malik down. Let's, uh, let's try to go after him. Maybe I should have gone after him with the uh, General Skywalker. heal some more uh, let's do that now nah, it's probably gonna be a loss okay uh, I'm gonna leave this as is and um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to see if I can't take it down by some other team Alright, so now I'm switching over from live commentary to voiceover uh, and I'm speeding up the video for the rest of the uh, the match because uh, there really is uh, nothing much you can do once you've uh, already exhausted uh, some key tunes on one attempt against Ray. It's really difficult to, to clean it up. So this team uh, typically would have worked if I had Thrawn in there for the fracture but I'd already exhausted that on the other counter and uh, it's uh, really ineffective without, uh, without getting a way to really control uh, Ray. So this team was a failure um, and uh, I threw a few other teams after it, I think uh, CLS and Rebels and, uh, and one or two other meta teams, after which point I decided to just ignore it and clear the rest of the board. Um, so the rest of the board also I've sped it up, uh, just wanted to show you brief highlights of the rest of my clear, uh, which was very, really unremarkable apart from this GG Watt team which I took in my, my, general, uh, my, my Padme team with General Skywalker and, uh, and Annie. And uh, this one seems to be a decent counter as long as you've uh, modded them to be uh, to be tanky enough. Um, so this one was a straightforward counter. I've typically had problems with this GG Watt team. I'm, I'm not using the EP trio counter anymore. So, um, but I think Padme seems to work pretty decently for this. Um, the other zones, he had the uh, weak knight sisters at the bottom. So I just took my three bounty hunters. Um, and these guys are uh, able to get the job done pretty uh, pretty easily. The uh, sisters really don't have enough damage, and these guys more than enough uh, heal from plague and all the other things to to really uh, take care of it. And Django is uh, with the Zeta is a hard counter to sisters. So this one was a very easy sixty two banners. Uh, moving ahead, he had Darth Revan at the back, and I decided to experiment. Given that I'd I knew that I already lost this match, I decided to experiment to see if uh, the resistance heroes could do anything to uh, to uh, Darth Revan but uh, but that was also a failure because uh, I think uh, you need a certain speed order uh, in order to to get that done but I took my clones in and cleaned it up um, so that was not a big issue the clones I did not have Shakti or gas since I had uh, already used them elsewhere uh, but they were able to clean that up uh, pretty well by themselves Rex lead uh, and this is a straightforward uh, trooper match which uh, I got 60 on and then on the Bosk, so it's a Relic Bosk team and I wanted to see if my, I've, I hadn't used Evox in forever so I wanted to just take an Evox to see how much of damage Evox will be able to do against a, a Bosk team. Um, it was a straightforward Bounty Hunter team. Um, the rest of the guys were taken down pretty easily but uh, Bosk being uh, R5 and with Dengar healing him constantly being in stealth there really was no way for me to uh, to take these two guys down. So 
think Evox uh, will do a decent job if Tengar is not there. But if Tengar is there at the back to heal them, then uh, then yeah, then the boss team is not going to work. So I just took my Geos in, the leftover Geos, because I did not have Brood Alpha. I took the rest of the Geos in to clean up that boss team. And uh, in case you you decide to use Brood Alpha with the uh, uh, Ray counter, then you can always clean up, use your other Geos as a cleanup. Um, then I took my EP squad against the Django Nest uh, Newt squad with Droidica. Uh, this team wasn't able to get the job done completely um, because I didn't have Basti in there because I used my Basti as well in the Ray counter. So I ended up uh, struggling a little bit on that team as well. So that's the thing, with, when you see, it, uh, when you have a GL and your opponent doesn't, um, when, when you go up against someone who has a GL and you end up wasting tons of meta teams, it makes your other teams that much weaker as well. Like I didn't have GBA, I didn't have Basti, I didn't have Shakti or Gas, uh, I didn't have CLS. So since you end up using all of your meta teams trying to take down that other team, it makes it uh, really, really tough. Anyway, so here I finally cleaned it up with the with Ray with the with Jin to uh, to finally clear the rest of the board and leave uh, Ray as is. So so before I sign off, I wanted to go in and uh, and try out uh, typically what I use on my climb against Rays, and uh, this is the counter that I that I typically take in, which is going to be your uh, this is the most popular counter I think that people climb with, which is Darth Revan with the uh, with Thrawn and GBA um, what I do over here is and this this works with almost any team uh, it's a really good counter you pass the weapon stick to Darth Revan so that he gets turn meter and uh, and then you go and fear everyone and basically the essence of this team is you keep Ray fractured and everyone else feared with the uh, with Basti and Darth Revan and uh, you have GBA in there so that uh, your brute tanks uh, the bulk of the hits from uh, from Ray. Uh, in this case, it was unfortunate because uh, Kenobi didn't get shocked, so he ended up taunting. But you have ways around it as long as you uh, you, uh, you somehow try to save the fracture for Ray, um, it still ends up working. So that's basically the name of the game. You just keep on, um, you go and um, try to fracture uh, Ray to keep her under control. And whenever she is not fractured, you need to make sure that she has ability block on her. So use a uh, the basic from uh, Bastilla as much as you can on her, and uh, and save the uh, the revive from uh, from brute uh, for when it's needed. So here you can see over here I fractured Ray, and uh, this particular version of the team has got both gas and GK, which is a slightly tougher version. But uh, as long as you control the team with fear, it uh, it really is not much of an issue. So. I pass the. I usually pass the weapon stick to Darth Revan, the taunting tech to tank to the um, the brood alpha, and uh, to, to the brute and the brood alpha gets the uh, gets the health tech uh, med pack. And since he's a separatist, he also gets gains bonus protection, which is uh, which is an extra nice thing to have. So this team, I think, uh, it still cannibalizes from a couple of teams because it takes away your throne, it takes away your GBA, and it takes away your uh, your what. Um, but uh, I'm thinking that it probably might be possible for it to work with uh, Malik as well. That's something which uh, I need to explore instead of GBA because Malik also is um, immune to uh, can can be as uh, as uh, uh, hardy as uh, as GBA uh, in terms of survivability. Plus, he get, ends up getting taunt whenever a shock is landing on the board, and there are quite a few sources of shock over here. So that's basically how you work through the steam. Just keep landing shock, and um, and keep landing fear as much as you can. Uh, and whenever I get a chance, I target Finn and then fear him, uh, so that uh, because the thing is, uh, if uh, Finn gets a chance to go and applies inspire on your on on his allies, then anytime you do an AOE, everyone is going to end up uh, attacking and uh, and countering, um, and you don't want that. So. So yeah, so that's basically all I'm doing right now, just fracturing, fearing, and uh, and uh, shocking. That's about it. Um, and here uh, it takes the ray takes a little bit longer to get down as compared to the Jedi version because there's no max health reduction over here. Uh, all you uh, all you have over here is uh, you can just target ray with regular attacks and keep doing it. It helps that uh, um, yep, yeah, it helps that uh, Darth Revan ignores defense so that helps um, get her down a little faster. 
And now once she's down, you typically will be less left with less time, about a minute, minute and a half. And you have to work through the damage immunity for the rest of the characters. So you can see all four of them have got damage immunity. So you have to time it properly to make sure that, uh, that the damage immunity expires on everyone and you're able to, uh, to, to basically control them and take them out easily enough. So that's what I'm doing over here, just controlling them with fear and shock and, uh, and trying to take them out as fast as I can uh, before the clock runs out because right now the, your main enemy is going to be your clock. And, uh, and yeah, here you can see damage immunity is gone from everyone and with a minute left to spare, uh, we get the victory. So that's basically how I typically climb against Ray. But I do want to develop my Jedi counter a little better as well. I think uh, the Jedi team, uh, once you figure out the modding and the, the turn order, um, I think it's a superior team because it cannibalizes lesser teams. You have your Watt, your GBA, your Darth Revan, um, and your Thrawn available for other counters, which, uh, which, makes, which allows you to keep your own Galactic Legend on defense and use it, uh, a pure Jedi team to take out your opponent. Um, I think that's definitely a better counter that I should develop. Um, unfortunately, at the time of GSC lock, my mods were not right my, uh, on my Jedi team, so uh, my, my Jedi counter wasn't executed perfectly. The, uh, my, my gas wasn't tanky enough, for example. It only had about 80k protection Well, you should mod him for survivability so that he tanks out the initial hits from Finn and Poe. Um, that, that wasn't done. My Hermit Yoda was too slow. Um, so you need to really uh, mod the, the team right in order to execute it perfectly. And that's something that I'm going to be working on. And hopefully by the next GAC lock, I'll have the, uh, the mods in the right order. For the next Grand Arena match, I'm not facing um, a Galactic Legend, but uh, I am facing an interesting opponent from Shadowlands. And uh, I'm planning to do a theme for that particular uh, Grand Arena match. Um, and the theme, I'm not going to surprise what the theme is. I'm not going to ruin the surprise of what the theme is going to be. But I'm going to give you a clue that it's going to be revolved around the resistance. Given that I've just recently relicked all these resistance characters, I'm thinking of a really interesting theme around resistance that I'll uh, that I'll showcase in the next match. So tune in for that one. It's going to be a really interesting uh, offensive uh, session. Um, I'm going to have tons of fun making the video for sure. All right, that's it for uh, for this day. Um, join me in a couple of days when I will uh, have the next, uh, the second round. Uh, until then, uh, happy gaming and stay safe. Thanks for joining in.